Hey friends, I promised some of my friends on Instagram that I would share a haul of all the things that I purchased in July because I went a little bit bonkers when during July. After a no spend June, I spent all the money in July. That worked really well. I'm going to sort it all and share what I purchased, divide it up by the shop that I bought it from and then we'll get right into it. Okay, maybe a cat butt might appear, but this is symbolic for a haul that I did in the beginning of the month. I purchased this pen. It is an Opus 88 um, mini pen from Endless Pen in their Independence Day sale. And then I, in that video, I also shared um, some art supplies that, that I purchased at Blake Art Supplies as well as at Daiso. And I will link that video in the cards up there so you can check that one out. As a result of that Blake Art Supplies purchases, I then went onto Amazon and got the 72 count colored Premier Prisma color pencils, and those are amazing. I'm keeping them in this blue Q bag, and I have used them, and yeah, I can't wait to use them more. They're definitely worth purchasing for me. I really think they add value to the way that I make art. On Amazon, I also purchased this visual journal. It's from Strathmore. It has 140 pound watercolor paper. Um, I haven't started using it yet. Uh, the reason for that is that I realized later that a wire bound journal isn't really that amazing when you, act when you scan the pages. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about this. Maybe I'm just gonna clip them so I can take them out, scan them, and then put them back in. Not sure yet, but I really wanted to try this. I really like the concept, the size, um, and I, I think I'm going to start today. I don't know yet. I'll keep you updated on how, how this one works out, how I like the paper inside. So then, after I purchased from Amazon, I purchased this art toolkit palette from Traveler's Company. I missed out on the first run and then when I saw everyone have one, I I just felt like this would have been such a great addition to my um for my traveling when I'm out and about. Um it's super convenient. And so when they came back in stock and I got a restock notification, I jumped on the on it, purchased the empty palette. I also bought this Traveler's Company Traveler's Notebook clip. I had been meaning to get one forever, but for some reason I never actually got it. Now I now that I have it, I have been using it quite often. And then I purchased this um, binder and I chose the a business or card slot binder for my ink collection cards. I really like it for that. It is um, easily easy to put in, take put the cards in and take them out to resort them if I ever wanted to. And I had them before. I had them in a business card holder, and it was super tedious to get the cards in and take them get the cards in take them back out. So I really like that solution for these cards. And if this will be full, then I will definitely get another one to keep those in there. I also purchased these. These are pen tips uh, for the Apple Pencil. And I enjoy drawing on the iPad a lot more now that I have those. Um, I did not purchase them from Amazon. I purchased them on this website. I heard these are the original ones. I have no clue. I'm super new to drawing on the iPad and I don't know if they're, if, if some of them work less work. 
not as well as others and so I just got those because I didn't want to do a lot of research. Okay, then I noticed that I did not have any any primary colors or any colors that I could use for mixing um, that would lend themselves for mixing in tubes. I only have a set of watercolors that is in pans. I could not take those out and put them in here. So I went ahead and purchased the Van Gogh um, watercolors from Joann's. That's where I found them to be the cheapest. They offered me a no shipping code or something like that. And so I went with that store. Um, I based my color choices on the uh, watercolors that you can find. These are the same ones that were provided with the Art Toolkit palette if you were taking the, the one that was filled. I had already had the magenta in my po possession. I think there's one missing. I also purchased the ochre. Um, and then I added this green, this is Viridian. It's right in, in this place. Um, just so to, that I didn't have to mix a green every time I wanted to use a green. But so these, these this one, the Payne's Gray, the Taylor Blue, the Trans Permanent Red Light, the uh, Transparent Yellow Medium, and the Viridian I all purchased and then I filled my palette with them and I am really enjoying those. I, I always thought I would prefer convenience colors but for some reason I don't. So I really like how, how this is set up so far. Um, okay, so that were the watercolors. Um, I know that Van Gogh is not a professional watercolor grade, but I really like them for their um, affordability. And uh, I, for at this moment when I film the video, I don't notice a difference in professional and uh, student watercolor grades yet. So that was the most affordable and most convenient place to get them for me. Then, I purchased three items from St. Louis Art Supply. The reason why I purchased from them was because they had the Kakimori brass nib in stock. Um, I got, and then I also saw that they had um, a Subami notebook which has the same paper as the Subami ink collection cards in it. And I wanted to try it and t test the paper, how it works with watercolor, fountain pens, and um, stamping ink. I am planning on making a uh, video about this, just as I did with the Tomoe River paper, the MD paper, as well as the Stology paper. So look out for a video about that. Um, I'm planning on doing that a bit more in the future because I'm really curious to know how these things work with those papers and I don't really see them. Maybe I'm not following the right people, but I thought, well, why not try and, and do those? They, I, I have a lot of fun testing those notebooks, so why not share them online? And the last thing that I got and I haven't even used yet is this um, mixing tray. I really like mixing watercolors and I find the space a bit too tiny. And so I thought maybe when I'm at home and I'm using my watercolor palette, maybe I can use this. But as you can see, I haven't used it yet. I This package came the day before I left to go on a seven day trip. And I haven't really watercolored since I got back. So this is something that I still need to test out, but I'm looking forward to using a porcelain palette. And then 
what else? The last thing that I purchased or the last items that I have in this short haul are these three items. I was in Chicago and my hotel was conveniently right next to the Kinokuniya in Chicago. And so one afternoon when we had time, or actually morning when we had time, we went over there and they did not have any of the things that I had thought I might purchase there. But uh, my writing journal was almost full and I was scared that it would be empty, that I needed a new one before I got back home. Haha, -ha, I did not. But this was only $2.75. And so I thought, well, since you're planning on doing uh, notebook reviews and these Kinokuniya stores are fairly accessible in greater er like metropolitan areas, maybe that would be interesting for some of you to see how how paper this paper performs. The notebook company is Etranger di Costa Rica, it, it stranger, stranger, étrange. I would pronounce this French, the first part. Étranger, the, the Costa Rica. Well, that sounds German and French. It's made in Japan. It's a notebook, materials texture, Depuis 1985. And it is ruled. And so I'm going to check that one out as well. Um, I then also, I had thought about getting uh, the one of the new mild liner sets, um, but I saw this one. Is, I think that's the olive color. And I really like this one. I did not care for the ones that, the other ones they had in stock, and so I thought getting just the single one would probably be cheaper than getting a whole set of um, five. And I don't really need them. I just use one most of the time. And then I saw this one. Uh, it's a Kida Washi booklet. And I really liked this totally spoke to me. And so I also got it because I was on vacation or I was a parental supervisor. Um, and yeah, I really like, I especially like this one. It, it, the watercolor in the background is really nice. I think it's watercolor. I don't know. But that is all the things I purchased in July. I feel like I got way too much. Um, most of the things I'm not using, I'm using this one. I have used this one. I've been using all of those. So, well, yeah, kind of. I've been liking this one more than I thought I would because I have... A lot of clips and they work but this one just works better um, yeah but I, I can't wait to dive into this one and I really enjoy using pencils so that is that my friends is this haul I'm trying to take a step back from buying things I'm really um, yeah I know that when you're like changing course, even if it's just slightly like going from mainly journaling to now doing a lot more art, that there is some supply needs, even though you have some bases, there's some stuff that you need to expand your horizon. So I acknowledge that, but I also don't want to accumulate so many things that I don't use. So need to take a step back and really think about all of the purchases that I am making a bit more weight a little bit one of the strategies that I have is to write it down put it in my cart wait for a week two weeks do I still need it do I think is it necessary for me or maybe like with the Prismacolor pencils I have one I used it I really loved it I knew that I would use those these I needed because I this would have been like I couldn't have used this if I hadn't had those but yeah 
I'm trying really hard to refrain from buying things that I don't need. The San Francisco Pen Show is coming up and yeah, I do have a budget so I can spend some money there. I don't want to fall into that trap that I think I need to spend money. And I also don't want to buy things just, you know, when you're in there and it's so exciting and you, you see a lot of people buy things and then you want to buy something, but maybe it's not really necessary. So I am really, who I don't know how, how to approach that pen show without one, overspending and two, buying things that I just bought because I saw other people shop. Um, if you've been to a pen show before, let me know your strategies. I'm really curious. Um, yeah, and if you have any of these items, let me know how you like those, how you use them. This one, my friends, is one of the best purchases for this year, for sure. And also, I've been thinking about making a video at the end of the year um, about things that I purchased or things that I used a lot this year and how I liked them um, because this one would probably be in it. Let me know if that is something that you're interested in or if you'd rather not know what you need to spend your money on. Um, yeah, thank you so much for being with me here. I really appreciate you watching. I love your comments. I read them all. I usually reply to them all and yeah, I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.